Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and this is the final episode of 2K19. Season finale is right here, guys. I am Ken Chrysler, and welcome to the season finale of 2K19. We're going to start off with the World Heavyweight Championship match, and this is going to be a long one, guys. A very long episode. Uh, make sure you watch it, though. It's going to be one of the most talked about episodes yet. Uh, so make sure you watch it. Um, but anyway, we are starting off with a steel cage match between G Guan Child of Silence and Vicious Swag here. And this is a big match, guys. This is a humongous match. If you guys didn't know, Guan won that eight-man battle royal to get him to WrestleMania against one of the best champs that we've had in a while, and that is Vicious Swag who uh, came out on top at Elimination Chamber despite the odds against him. And he was former champion before on 2K18. So he's a two-time champ, two-time world champion. And tonight we're going to see what happens here. Also tonight we have uh, Mary, Denitra, and Adrian for the Women's Championship. And we're also going to have... Um, Team Neck versus um, Beer Run, and we're, uh, the main event will be Macau versus Alvo DeBias. So that is going to be absolutely great, guys. I don't know if this is a knockout match or, uh, or what, but I know that you cannot escape the st this uh, steel cage. Um, so Vicious Swag is locked in here with Guan, and oh man, what a move. What a power slam that was. And I, uh, look at Vicious Swag, though. He's going to reverse it right back at him. And look at Vicious Swag. Oh, another good move. I love that move. Very good. And Vicious Swag going for the finisher here. And look there. Oh, nice. And his moveset is just wonderful. Hopefully he keeps that moveset come 2K19. That's if he wins the championship tonight. Either way, he's going to be on 2K19. Both of these guys will be. Um, they're going to try to expand the roster as well. Um, maybe drop a, uh, another brand as well. So we'll have FLH, Vita, CTL, and another brand. Um, they could have a live stream brand as well. I mean, we are in over our heads on this channel. That's all you guys need to know. We are doing more than, than can be done at this point. And... Um, Getting this WrestleMania out to you guys was, it took a toll. I'm not lying. It, it took a toll. And we're not even done yet. We got this one to go. So, um, just the first three was, uh, it was a horrendous process, but we got it done. And I'm so happy we did. I think Vicious Swag just now avoided the choke slam. And look here. Oh, man. And uh-oh, here comes Guan. He's got a choke slam. He finally gets to lock it in here tonight. And he does. And I think this is a knockout match. That's what I'm thinking. Because there's been no signs of pins or submissions. 
And look at Guan there. And another uh, DDT right there. So Vicious Swag's in some big trouble. And he just reversed to get out of that trouble. This, These two are, is a match made in heaven for us tonight on WrestleMania because we uh, we never thought we would see this match up. And we're seeing it. And look at Guan, another choke slam. And he is closer to becoming world heavyweight champion. And then Vicious Swag, look here. Oh, man. And then he takes it. Whoa. That's a knockout. He knocked out Guan. All it takes is one good hit. And he got it there. Oh, man. I cannot believe that match was that quick. Goodness gracious. What happened? <laughs> what happened there? And yeah, Vicious Swag knocked out Guan. So just because, um, guys, just because, you know, you may get a lot of damage in the knockout match, it's all about resiliency and making the right move. And Vicious Swag did that tonight, guys. That's why he's still the world heavyweight champion. And he will be World Heavyweight Champion going into 2K19. By the way, the Women's Championship is on the line. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. And we have Mary, Denitra, and Adrian. And if you guys haven't been watching, Adrian was revealed. At, and Denitra and Adrian were revealed as sisters. However, they're not working together. They're not working together because they do not like each other. And the other sister wants to um, prove to the other sister that she's better. It's one of those sister feuds that we have going on on the channel. Um, and I, I look at... Oh, Mary. Seems to be like a thing in the Team Knack family. I mean, you have Gory and Malcolm Monroe. You got uh, Adrian and Denitra. Basically, Blue Neck has a problem with everybody, uh, including the two men he is going to face tonight, uh, which he refers to as Rednecks. Um, and, uh -oh. oh man, DDT there by Denitra. And this is a triple threat match. It's only one fall. So one pin will get you the women's championship. And Mary uh, has a big challenge tonight. She's overcome some big obstacles. But the question is, can she retain the night? Because this is a very big obstacle. And oh man, what a nice move there by Denitra. And Denitra with a choke slam on Mary. And let's see if she can pin her right here. This would be a big upset. And a kick out there by Mary. And by the way, guys, I believe Macau is purchasing the $90 version of 2K19. So we will uh, might have a live stream of that. Now, we won't have all the uh, people that we want right off the bat. Uh, so just bear with us there. But we still could have a live stream tomorrow. So depending on what happens tonight. And uh -oh, here comes Adrian. Oh, what a nice move on Mary. A backflip. And she connects. And uh-oh, here comes Adrian. Going for the pin here. And Mary kicks out. And 
And look at Adrian kicking her sister. And look at this. Oh, man. That's right in the throat. Look at Adrian. Oh, man, what a move. What a move. And look here. She has an opportunity at a pin here. And a kick out there by Mary. And, of course, last night, uh, just uh, to let you guys know, there is some spoilers here. Um, last night, Pineapple uh, was victorious against the Blue Neck. Um, Money in the Bank winner was Michael Myers. Um, Thanos retained. A lot, a lot of stuff happened last night. A couple other matches as well. A lot of retains. So, so far, all of our champions have retained. Can Mary keep the tradition going? And look at Denitra there with a big slam. Mary's been champion. I believe for over a year. Of course, she hasn't, you know, she hasn't been as an, an active, like, in championship matches like some of the world champions have been, but it's still pretty impressive. But tonight, she, I mean, she, the odds are not stacked in her favor. And Adrian breaks up that pin, uh, saving it from her sister. And look at Denitra fires back at Adrian here. Oh, my goodness. And uh oh, Denitra's dominating. I cannot wait to see what we have in store for 2K19. Hopefully, uh, they uh, there's a lot of improvements, and hopefully, and there's not a lot of like drastic changes that will hurt uh, the effect that this game has had for us. And uh oh, here comes Denitra going for the pin here, and uh oh, a kick out there by Adrian. And look at Denitra! Oh, what a slam! What a slam. And Denitra going for the pin here. And a kick out there by Adrian. Look at Adrian. Look at that. What a move. And Adrian going for a submission here. Will Mary tap out? Mary has been under a lot of stress tonight between uh, Adrian and her sister, Denitra. And even though this is not a handicap match, it's like Mary's getting hit with everything she doesn't want to get hit with. And here's a Boston Crab. Let's see if she can survive this. Here's the real test. And Denitra's coming in. And Mary gets out of it. Because Mary's really good at what she does. She is. She's very impressive. She's been on a roll tonight. And Denitra knocks Adrian out of the ring. And Denitra showing off to the fans. And um, she's getting a mixed response there. And Mary kicks her right off. That's what she gets for showing off. And Mary can have an opportunity to get this pin in here. But look at Adrian. Oh, a kick out there by Denitra. And Adrian going after Mary now. And look at Mary with the reversal. And Mary Mackey is back in this game. And uh -oh, let's see what she can do here. And look at that. What a move. And now going after Denitra. What a move. And Mary is definitely one of the greatest women champions we've ever seen on this channel.
Look at Mary here. Oh, nice reversal. And Denitra going for the pin now. And a kick out there. And look at Denitra with another big slam. She is just beating the tar out of Adrian. And oh, a reversal on the spear. Denitra's been looking really good today, too. And Denitra throwing her sister right into the metal pole. And she's definitely a savage. Denitra is. And a reversal there. And here comes Mary. Oh, man. Good move there. And Mary going after Adrian. And she uh, breaks her right out of her own uh, her pin. And oh, nice reversal there. And Mary and Adrian battling it out now. Of course, uh, Mary has defeated both of these women. Uh, she defeated Denitra, and then uh, I mean she's been on a roll as of late. But th this time she has a triple threat match between these two. And look here, this could be it. And she's going for the submission on the arm on Adrian. And we'll see what happens here. And look at Adrian. What a nice maneuver to get out of that move. And Denitra with a big slam. Look at Denitra. Now she's going crazy. And she's going for the pin here. And a kick out there by Mary. What a match. What a match, guys. And look at Denitra here. Oh, man. Punch to the head. And Denitra again with that move. I don't know how many times we've seen that tonight. It has been very effective, though. And uh-oh, Denitra going for a submission here. Could this be it? And here comes Adrian trying to fight, trying to break up the submission, and she manages to do so. And come on, guys, put the power back on. Thank you. And here comes Adrian going for the pin here. Oh man, and a kick out there by Denitra. This is only a one fall match. Oh man, and look at Denitra going straight for the pin, and a rope break saves Adrian. Look at Mary. Oh man. Mary's got an opportunity to take advantage right here, right now. And oh my goodness, what a slam. And uh oh, Denitria choke slam. Denitra choke slam. Sorry. I mispronounced your name. I'm sorry. Do not choke slam me, please. And Adrian saves the pin. Now we're having the sisters battle it out. Oh man, look at Denitra. Going for the submission here. Mary's in big trouble. Oh my goodness, look at this. And Adrian coming in now. Oh, what a nice save. And like a baseball slide almost to the home on that one. And look at Denitra. Oh man. And I, oh, not even a one.
And look at Adrian. Look at that. I love that move. And the pin's in, ref. Pay attention. And a kick out there. Adrian almost won it. And Denitra with another one of those moves. She's been using those like crazy, and Mary breaks up the pin. What a match. What a match, guys. And, oh, man, Mary and Denitra battling it out now. Oh man, Adrian kicks Denitra right in the head. And look at Mary. Oh, man, I need it right to the head on Adrian now. And Mary's got a shot at this. And Adrian with the reversal. It's just going back and forth, back and forth. And now Adrian's out of the ring. Uh-oh, Denitra. Oh, a kick there, though. And uh-oh. See what we... Oh, my goodness. Mary's going to go for a big move here. Oh, this is crazy talk. This is crazy. Oh, my goodness. Mary, I don't know what you're thinking here. You're going to put out your back. Oh, my goodness. Oh, man. That bur uh, hurt both of them almost. And uh-oh. Now Adrian's back in the ring. You, you take one down and the other one shows up. Oh, man. And Adrian with a, a big knee to the stomach there, a leg drop to follow it up. And look there, DDT by Adrian. And she's got an opportunity. Mary's down. Go for the pin. Let's see if she can get it. And a kick out barely. Oh, my goodness. The referee's hangnail touched the mat. That's how close it was. Look at Mary here. DDT locked in. And Denitra's not looking. Oh, man. And Mary going after Denitra. And Denitra with the reversal. Look at this. Oh, man, what a move. What a move. And Adrian's down. Could we see a new champion here? Oh, my goodness. Mary's been defeated. Wow. Oh, my goodness. I am, I can't say I'm speechless because I'm saying, oh my goodness, a lot. I cannot believe this. Mary has finally lost the women's championship. Oh my. It's finally came to the end, her title reign. I think she had the record. She almost had it for like, I think she had it for a year, maybe more than that. And now we have a new women's champ and Oh, man. Poor ref. Oh, he got what he deserved. What am I saying? He, they always get what they deserve. All of them. You, you guys should see how they talk to us in the back. If you guys knew how they talk to us, you would understand. And Denitra uh, has just won the women's championship. I am just... I don't know what to say, and, and now the tag team titles are on the line now.
So Mary's the only champ not to retain, and you would figure she would be like the only champ to retain, but we'll see. Team Mac could lose it tonight as well. Um, they have good competition. Very good competition they have. And uh, that is Beer Run. That is Big Roos and Bobby Joe Warner, BJW. And um, we'll see how they perform tonight. And uh, Blue Neck somehow missed Big Roos. And look at Big Roos. He has the athleticism despite his size. He can still kill it. The big guys still have a little bit of athleticism going on. Him and Bobby Joe. You know, they work hard a lot. Big Ruse loves to mix them drinks. <laughs> that's that's how he works. And Bobby Joe, he has like 10 different redneck jobs. And uh-oh, here we go. And wow, what a battle we're having tonight. So, so far, Vicious Swag retains. Uh, Mary loses her belt after a year of being champion. And now Team Next in action. And next is going to be the big match you guys have been waiting for. Macau versus Alvo DeBias. And this match is going to be mind-blowing. I, I don't know what's going to happen here tonight, but I am scared. And this is a two out of three falls. So it's definitely going to be a good match. I can't wait to see how it turns out here tonight. Oh, Bobby Joe with a nice move there. And Blue Neck misses the pin and breaks it up just in time. He almost uh, it almost cost him the match. Well, it's two out of three, I believe. So he wouldn't have cost the match yet. But uh, Beer Run is looking amazing tonight. But uh, we'll see. Team Neck's tough. We'll see who wins this. You all know Big Ruse and Blue Neck have a rivalry going on. On this channel, they've had that rivalry since 2K14. It's been a it's been a long time in the making, and Blue Neck lays down Big Woos pretty good there. And look at Gory X. Oh man, tossing Bobby Joe out. And look here. Oh man, the athleticism unreal. And now Big Woos and uh, Blue Neck. Blue Neck with a brogue kick. And it is not looking good for Beer Run. And the kick out there by Big Ruse. And uh oh, Big Ruse is uh oh, he's gonna go knockout. Oh man, what a move. And Big Ruse is going for the pin here. And a kick out there by the Blue Neck. And Big Ruse is going crazy. He does not like the Blue Neck, let me remind you guys. And look at this. The comeback is in session. And look at Ruse. Oh, man, that's a lot of weight. A lot of weight. Oh, man, another bit of weight there as well. And um, we'll see what happens here. Oh, man. Gory X taking down both members. Kick out there by Woos. And look at Gory X. Oh, man. And Gory X going for the pin. Let's see if he can get the first fall, and he doesn't. And Blue Neck, look at this. Oh, man, that's a big slam there. And Blue Neck beating Big Ruse's head off of the mat. We're seeing a battle and a half tonight. And oh man, Gory throws Bobby Joe Warner out. He kind of landed on the still steps. So that was a little bit of a harsher fall than he expected. And look at Blue Neck. Team Neck is dominating now. And uh-oh, here comes the Blue Neck coming for the pin. 
And almost a three. Really close. I don't know if this is two out of three falls or just one fall, but that was pretty close. And Blue Neck busting Big Roos open. And look at Blue Neck here. He's going for the Boston Crab. It's locked in. And here we go. And Bobby Joe Warner saves it. Oh, man. Taking down the uh, Boston Crab there. Oh, wow. Look at Big Ruse. Nice reversal. And Big Ruse with a big spear. Oh, man. And Corey saves that one. What a match this has been. And now Goryax has the Boston Crab locked in on Bobby Joe Warner, and Big Ruse saves that. Teams are working good together, and look at Big Roos here. You never thought you'd see a roll-up pin. And Goriax now going for the roll-up pin, and a kick out on both sides. Did you see that, Raph? Did you guys just now see that? He, like, stalled before he can hit three. What in the world? I don't trust these refs, man. Man, I, I, what if the refs were in control of the, this whole show and we didn't know it? That's what I'm starting to think. Look at here. Here comes the referee here. He's going for Bobby's uh, pin first and the kick out at simultaneous, well, basically at the exact same time. Brothers are thinking alike tonight. Here comes Big Ruse and, oh, nice move there by Bobby. And a kick out there by Corey X. Dude, Bobby almost got his team a pin there. That was good. Good defense. Look at Bobby. Oh, man. Bobby Joe thought he was going to get out of that one. I don't know what the Blue Necks do, and he's showing off. This match is far from over, though. Look at the blue neck here. Fat truck job just got slayed. Oh, man. Oh, and Big Roos saves the pin again. And look at Big Roos with the ferocious strikes on the blue neck. And look at this. Oh, my goodness. He learned how to fight like this in the bar. That's how he knows. And Bobby Joe just laid out Goriax and Blue Neck with a kick out. Goodness gracious, no falls yet. And these teams are just magnificent tonight. And Big Blues with a spear there. And uh oh, Big Blues is going for. Uh, oh man, and Blue Neck still got punched. It was uh, when he least expected, and Gory just saved him again. And look at Big Roos just hopping around. It's so funny. And look at Bobby Joe. He's about to hit Blue Neck with a finisher next. And Blue Neck reverses. So that, that could have saved the match right there. And uh-oh, Blue Neck going for the broad kick. And oh, kicks Bobby Joe right in the head. And look at Big Roos. Oh, man. Big Wu's the only man standing right now. And he's going for another punch. Blue Neck is getting hit and hit and hit. And again, he gets hit. But Goryax, once again, uh, they cannot get to the pin when they need to get to the pin. And Bobby finally got to the pin, but Goryax breaks it up. This team is great with their pins. And, and uh-oh, Gory. And a kick out there by Bobby. Wow. Oh man, Blue Neck with a 
a ferocious hit there. And uh, still no falls, guys. And look at the blue neck pounding Big Woos. Bobby Joe Warner's bleeding pretty bad. And uh oh, here comes Gory. And Gory gets the first fall. So Team Knack has a point. And I'm telling you, Blue Knack and Gory are in the driver's seat right now. So far, everyone's retained except for Mary, which is crazy. Because she, usually she's the one that just retains. And tonight it's gone a different way. And look here, Big Bruise breaks up the finisher. Oh, that's good teamwork there. And let's see how fast the Blue Knack is here. And Gory kicks out. It's all about resiliency. And this team has it. Both of these men have it. And uh-oh, Blue Knack kick out there by Big Woos. And uh-oh, Big Woos choke slam on the Blue Knack. He's been hit with so many finishers today, but uh, Big Woos is focused on getting both men down before he goes for the pin. And, oh man, drops Gory right on the Blue Neck. And he's going for the pin now, but Blue Neck just, get, just gets right back up and saves the pin again. And Team Neck is on fire. You never know, they could still lose this. They got to be careful. Look at Bobby Joe. He's got a finisher. Let's see if Bobby Joe Warner can get this pin. And a kick out there. Goodness. They can't get rid of him. <laughs> they won't. They refuse to lose those belts. And look at the blue neck. Oh, man. Clothesline. Sort of. Oh, and the referee just got hit by Big Ruse's foot in the back of his head. That's what he gets. And uh-oh, Blue Knight going for a bro kick right to Big Ruse's head. And uh-oh, here comes the pin. Could this be it? And another kick out. Wow. And uh-oh, Big Woos has been determined since day one to get this finisher locked in and go for the pin. But what in the world was that? Corey X got to the pin in time, and, it, and there was a glitch. Oh, my goodness. I'm getting sick of those glitches. And uh -oh, look at Corey X. And he took advantage of the glitch and got him to the pin faster. Gory X, this is a humongous move. This will take out Bobby Joe Warner. And he, oh my goodness. And look at Blue Neck laying down Big Woos. And Bobby Joe Warner is in bad shape. And despite the Blue Neck um, being basically dominated by Pineapple Blast and company, He's got an opportunity here to retain these titles. And 
And look at Blunak just going right after Bobby. Um, these two are brothers. They're full brothers, unlike Malcolm. So they, like, know each other like a book. It's almost like they're twins, but they're not twins. Blue Neck's a little bit older. Um, and look at Big Roos. Oh, man, but Blue Neck's not going to have it. You're going to pay if you mess his finisher up. And look at this. Oh, man, Gory just uh, hit Bobby Joe in a place that no man should be hit. And it's done. Team Neck wins. And Big Roos cannot believe it. He is throwing a fit. And I'm telling you, the Blue Necks overpowered the Red Necks tonight. And that's all there was to it. That's all I got to say. That's what happened. Corey X had a wonderful performance. Both of these guys worked good together. Hey, a beer run wasn't that bad. They weren't, but it, it was just too much for them. They didn't see it coming. I mean, <laughs> yeah, punch, punch there. <laughs> and uh-oh, another retained. So everyone retains their belt except for Mary. However, Alvo DeBias and Prince Macau will be our final match of the night, and that is next. And guys, you might want to see this one. And, uh-oh, wait a second. We're supposed to have Prince Macau versus Albo Tobias here. And here comes Mentally Sinister. Now, Mentally Sinister has been trying to stop Macau from this match happening. And Macau told him, they're going to get security and take you out of this building if you try to stop this match. And it uh, looks like he came down anyway, just like we would expect he would. Um, they're basically brothers from another mother. Um, and I don't know what's going to happen here. This is going to be interesting. Mikal, I know you're planning on doing something very, very dumb. I want you to think about Capri. I want you to think about me because I am not leaving you alone here. Oh, man, AJ Smith kicks his nephew in the head. What in the world? To all the superstars in the back right now, evacuate. Ken Chrysler, even you, get out of here. Evacuate. I'm warning all the superstars. We are under a state of emergency. The device is here. I repeat, the device is here, and I believe McCall has it. So everybody... Head out of the building immediately. I know the crowd won't leave because they are just a bunch of nutcases, but all the superstars, Ken Chrysler, need to leave. This thing could tear WrestleMania into a thousand pieces. Everyone evacuate now. Oh, I'm, I'm out of here. I will still be, um, I will still be on the commentary, guys, but I'm out of here. This is serious stuff, guys. I don't know what Macau's going to do. He's going to get rid of Alvo, and of course, the, the, these crowd members, they don't care. <laughs> they, they just don't care. I feel like they're going to a death clock, um, uh, a death clock uh, um, concert or something. I'm out of here. I am out of here. I am watching this from my laptop. I have just evacuated the building safely, guys. I, I took it. I mean, I took a run for it. And they're, I don't know why they're, they keep on saying um, this device, this, this nuke that Macau supposedly has. Does it look like he has one? I don't, I don't know what's going on here. I, I honestly do not. Um, but we have left the building. AJ Smith just came out here and uh, mentally was carted away because he was going to try to stop this match from happening. And I don't think AJ wanted to lose his nephew. He's already lost a bunch of friends. So what a smart part by AJ to get mentally out of there. Because we all know mentally would give his life for Macau. And like I said, that's AJ's nephew. And oh my goodness, it is here. The final match of 2K18. Oh my goodness. And here comes Alvo Tobias. 
the man responsible for Bryson Clay and AR and Wimpy and Hugh, all of their deaths on Alvo Tobias. Well, wait a minute. Wait, Hugh didn't die. I I'm sorry. <laughs> Wimpy did. That's right. Hugh he's still alive, but he's in bad condition. Let's just say. So, oh my goodness. And guys, the WWE Championship is on the line. But like I said, there's supposed to be some kind of... Uh, the, what Saban was building was a device that could destroy Alvo. Now, the only way to destroy Alvo and uh, his immortality is by removing his head from his body. Um, now, a, a nuke would easily do that in a thousand pieces. Uh, the problem is, um, Saban supposedly was supposed to have that, and now he doesn't. So, um, mentally, and everyone's saying that Macau has this, and he's going to use it if he gets in trouble here tonight, but there's no sign of it anywhere unless it's underneath WrestleMania's ring. Oh my goodness. I didn't think of that. That's the only place he can have it. And if he, if he gets into trouble, he's going to take himself out with Alvo. To defeat Alvo once and for all. But it'll cost him his life. So I don't know what's going on here. We were just told to evacuate WrestleMania. Evacuate the building completely. And we, now we're on a bus, ladies and gentlemen. This is serious. We are on a bus right now. Um, it's it's like the Lonely Island, but instead I'm on a bus. Um, oh my god, I'm watching this from my laptop. The commentary can never die, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, these these fans are nuts. Now they I, these fans just don't care anymore. <laughs> they do not care. They are here. They want their money's worth. And they don't care. They, they here's what's gonna happen. Their families, if something happens, their families are gonna be the ones that sue us here tonight. So, uh, goodness, they should have signed the contract when they got here tonight. This is insane. And Alvo already destroying Macau here tonight. Macau's got a couple moves on him. But this guy is just so powerful. It's unreal. He's immortal. Oh man. And a bat to the head. And the only way to defeat him is by separating his head. Oh man, what a nice move there by Macau. Good reversal. And we are driving out of here right now. The bus is driving out with all the superstars on it. Oh, my goodness. I don't know what's going to happen, guys. It's just it's starting to freak me out a little. The bus has taken off. It's trying to get out of range as, as so far as possible. And, um, goodness gracious. This must be a bad device if we are evacuating out of the parking lot. And Alvo's taking off. The speakers from the, um, I mean, the, the, the computer monitors from the announce table. And this is about to get bad. An elbow throwing Macau around like he's nothing. This guy is in total control here tonight. Alvo's attacking with a sledgehammer. Macau managed to um, get it out of his hand. And uh oh, oh man, this guy's just out of control. And look here, oh my goodness. And he's trying to kill Macau once and for all, or at least weaken him. And look here, look at Alvo here. Oh my goodness, we don't know what the decimator's planning. We're 
we think that he's going to take advantage once Alvo is done with Macau completely. But I don't know what he's planning either. And uh, look at Alvo Tobias. Puts Macau through the barricade. Oh my goodness. And the bus is just... Um, we're, we're on the interstate now. We are out of here. We have left WrestleMania. And last year, Macau barely got through the X patient. The question is, is he going to survive tonight? This is the final match of 2K18. Oh, my goodness. Oh, man, and the still steps. And look at Alvo. Oh my goodness, these knees to the head. Oh man. This guy is a brute. And he's still punching on his knee and Macau gets him down. If Macau could just if Macau can destroy him. I don't know what's gonna happen, guys. I am stressed out right now. I, I have no idea what's gonna happen here. And look at Macau fighting back. Oh man, what a move. Once again, Alvo takes advantage. You, you just hit him down once, and he, he just hits you with a lot more stuff. And uh, look at Macau still fighting back. They had AJ had mentally carted off, so mentally's on the bus. He's still passed out from the kick to the head. His own uncle kicked him. It must be serious. I don't know what Alvo's trying to do here. It doesn't look good, whatever it is. Oh my goodness, and this guy is out of control. And look here, oh my, right on the head, oh miss. And oh man, still connects. And Macau is bleeding badly now. And Alvo's taking down the... Oh, my God. This guy's a psychopath. Bryson Clay, A.R. Wimpy, has all felt the wrath of Alvo Tobias. Will Macau be the fourth victim tonight? And, oh, my goodness. And look here. Oh, my goodness. And look at Macau. Choke slam through the table. Oh my goodness, I've never seen nothing this powerful. This thing's immortal, unless his head's separated. If you guys didn't watch that one a crucial episode, I believe it was at the either Elimination Chamber or the, or the Royal Rumble, um, Alvo was built by the Gestapos um, and scientists in Germany during World War II. Uh, they made him immortal and kept him a secret for quite some time, so who knows how old this guy is supposed to be. And oh my goodness, Macau's in trouble here. And look at Macau fighting back. He's still got a little fight in him. And look at Macau here. Yes! What a nice move. Mikhail's still alive. By the way, guys, the WWE Championship is on the line. And look at Mikhail go to work on Alvo's head. Oh, my goodness. He's just got to be smart with every move he lays on Alvo. And a finisher right there. Oh, my goodness. He could do this. And a kick out there by Alvo.
And I, oh, oh my goodness, and look at Alvo here. Oh my goodness. And another choke slam. There is no hope for Macau. Everyone's gone. Oh man, Alvo's waiting for Macau to get in this ring. He's got the sledgehammer. Look at Alvo. Oh, misses. Macau takes advantage. And look here. DDT. Oh, nice move there by M Prince Macau. And Alvo rolls out. And uh, Macau. Oh, man. Uh, elbow drop on the back. And there we go. And these two men are out. <laughs> they are exhausted. What a match this has been. I'm, I'm praying Macau gets out of this alive, but I don't know how he's going to defeat Tobias. And look at Tobias. Oh, man, right on the steps. And Alvo picks up that sledgehammer once again. Oh, my goodness. We've seen what those hammers can do. Now he misses again. And oh man, he just knocked Macau right down though. And the referee's even afraid to get in there right now. Oh man, a kick to the head. And look at Alvo choking Prince Macau. Oh my goodness. I don't know what's going to happen here. And uh, a reversal by Macau. And Macau could, he could still take this. Here comes, uh oh, here we go. Macau needs a very good move here. A very good one. And he misses the drop kick. And Alvo throws Macau into the corner now. And oh my goodness, and a strike to the head. And oh my goodness, look at this. Stepping on the neck of Prince Macau. Oh my. And Alvo going for the Boston Crab. And this could be, wait a second. Oh, we, oh man, he's going to try to kill Macau here. Oh, he said forget the Boston Crab. Oh my goodness. And, oh, misses the bat. And what is going on here? Lays out Macau. We had another glitch, ladies and gentlemen. And, oh, my goodness, he is going for the finisher here. And, oh, my. Oh, my goodness. And Macau is almost done here. Wait a second. What in the world is this? Oh, my goodness. Oh. My. Goodness. Oh my, he's got a bag on his back. Oh my goodness. And Macau's still down there as well. And uh oh. Here comes Maurice going after Alvo here. And oh man. Uh, and these two have a history together, let me remind you. Half of those marks on Maurice is because of Alvo. The children he couldn't save is because of Alvo. And wait a minute, my mic's getting cut off. You listen to me, Alvo. All of those children I couldn't save. All those marks on my body is because of you. And Macau, he took my cousin from me. The only person that I ever loved. And I'm going to kill two birds. With one stone and night, I got it in my bag. <laughs>